Well, shortly into it, we hit rock. Until there's a gas line. I hit our sewer line. one of those days you wish would just get over already? I had one of those. It all started the other day when I was trenching a water line for these guys. Let me take you up there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. They're still picking out their favorite grass on the field even though they have hay available. Getting a little low on minerals. We'll have to go to the store and get some more. So in a previous video you can see that we dug this out got the float valve installed, and got the trough for the bison installed. So basically this got installed um, before we even had a water source. So then we dug this as the water source. We hit rock on the bottom of that, and hopefully it holds water, we don't know yet. But other than that, the project actually went pretty well. So what I thought the easy part would be, would be to trench a line from this little pond over to that water trough. Boy, was I wrong. So this is the start of the first line from the pond all the way up to the other trough. Started out on a beautiful, brisk, little cold morning, and I went and got a track hoe from our local rental shop. So we rented the track hoe and got it out here and started digging. So far, so good. Well, shortly into it, we hit rock. The rock wasn't the end of the world at that point. We were able to punch through most of it. So the rock set us back a little bit, but just slowed us down. I got about, I would say 40 feet up the hill and I hit our sewer line that goes down to our lagoon. That was a bummer. So we kept on going and then we hit a different kind of rock, which I actually anticipated, but this kind right here and rocks that were about that big really slowed our progress down to a crawl. It wasn't the end of the world at that point. We had to repair the sewer line and we were slowing down to a crawl hitting that rock, but we were still making progress until I hit our incoming water line right on the house. Saw it, knew exactly where it was at, just tried to get too close with the excavator and just tapped it and broke it. So two lines broken, one ingoing and one outgoing. So at that point, the leak on the incoming water line was at a trickle. Obviously I needed to repair it, but I decided to put it off until we could get this totally excavated and the trench all done to that water trough. The excavator needed to be back at the rental station by five o'clock that night. I couldn't return it to the next day because we had an event. So I had to get done by 4.30 to be able to make it in time. Needless to say, 4.30 rolled around and we were not done. So at that point, I decided to make a call to the rental station and to see if I could drop it off after hours. The gentleman was nice, but he said no. He needed to be able to have it during business hours. He actually made an exception for me though. In the morning, he told me he would come in early and I could drop it off then. So then at that point, I needed to figure out if I needed to keep going and try to finish it that night or try to have it another weekend and try to finish it at another weekend. I decided to try to finish it that night. So mind you, this is 4.30 at this point. We had been going since eight o'clock in the morning and we still had a long way to go. Now remember how I said it was a cold, brisk morning? Now, right around that time, the camera stopped working. I think it was because it was so cold out because I took it inside, let it warm up, took it outside and it would run and then get cold and stopped working again. So now you can understand how this is getting put in story form instead of film. Now I'm no quitter, I'm pretty determined. So 4.30, 
we got all evening, no big deal. And so we keep on digging until there's a gas line. Now, mind you, uh, I did not <laughs> break the gas line. I knew exactly where it was at, fortunately. Um, we did tap it, but we did not break it. Thank the Lord. It was uh, a miracle that it, we did not break it. Um, the circumstances, I wish I could show you guys. I really couldn't get in there with the shovel because of all the rock. So I tried to get as close as I could with the excavator and got a little too close again. Fortunately, we did not hit the gas line though. So that was probably one of the only things that did not go wrong in this job. That and I would say the machine stayed running really well. The machine was great. Um, couldn't really ask for too much more other than maybe a little bit bigger machine. It was a little underpowered, but other than that, it wasn't that bad. So we got around the gas line without hitting it. Um, and then we run out of diesel out of the machine. So we are out in the country. Gas stations are not close by. Um, and it looked like we were able to get through the day with the tank that was in there. Turns out we were not. So I had to take another hour out of our time to be able to dig and go get diesel. So I think at this stage, I had somewhere in the mental capacity of calling myself a true quitter. I was about ready to hang it up for that day and say, you know what, this isn't meant to be. We're returning the machine, we're coming back to this a couple weeks from now. But ultimately, that's not what I decided to do. I got the whole thing trenched all the way from the pond up to the water trough. We were not able to run any piping on the ends. We ran the pipe all along the whole water trough, but we weren't able to cap anything off or actually hook anything up. But we were able to get that dug and then we pushed all the dirt over and it ended up being a huge mound because it gets aerated and then it's got to settle back into that crack. So we got it dug, got the dirt pushed over, and at that point, I think it was after one o'clock in the morning. Sleep did not come easy that night because shortly after that, I woke up and it was time to return the machine. But you know, it's days like that that really produce character. Those times that you just want to quit and you're just completely done. Everything is going wrong. Sometimes you just got to punch through it. And it's really hard to determine sometimes when to push through things and when to just call it, call it and say, you know what, this isn't working out. And you know, hindsight is 2020. And for me, that day could have gone either way. I think uh, if I would have called it and moved it to another weekend, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but I'll tell you what, it is nice to have that behind us. So what's left with this small project? That needs hooked up. That needs hooked up and finished. That needs hooked up to the house. This needs hooked up to that hose, and that frost-proof pipe needs hooked up over there. So are we close to done? No, but we do have a lot of headway made, and we have a lot of progress on the water system. It's not a lost cause. The bison are exploring the corner of the pasture over there. Maybe if some of you guys are going through a rough day, this will help you to know that I got through mine and you guys can too. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.